Good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you all, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Metal Gear Rising here with Morris. You look beautiful. I hope everybody's doing alright out there. At the end of the last part, we were just... Whoa! Man in the box! We were just uh, making our way again up through World Marshal, the tallest building that ever existed ever. <laughs> it would seem. But I think we are nearing the top now, guys. That's good news. That is good news. And here's a, a, an interesting battle that comes up next, actually. The server rooms ahead? Yes, according to what I have here. What should I expect to find? If Servers, probably. Those brains, I'm guessing it won't look like your typical IT department. Quite right. Most of it will likely be occupied by life support units. Feeding oxygen and nutrition to the brains they have stored, you know. They would also need a server to feed them the VR servers, I told you. in terms of structure. It's really more brain storage and maintenance than a server room. But no doubt it makes a convenient euphemism for I'm what sure, you know. Doing I, I mean, there. I don't work yeah. in IT, but, like you know, a typical CIA IT room surely has brain storage in it, right? The company. Indeed. The company. Something like that would never arouse the suspicions of rank and file staff who may hear it. And I'm sure... Yeah, the company doesn't sound operation, suspicious at all. <laughs> not calling it the VR training hey, what can I say? I've seen prison breaks. Even something so. so simple as a name can help one ignore the truth of what they are doing. Truly fascinating how the human brain works. So this whatever room, that's where Sundowner's waiting, right? If the whatever fight, room. I wish he'd just get on with it. He didn't seem the type to run and hide. Well, he is in charge of security. But I suspect this is not about business. If I had to guess, I would say he is toying with you, testing you, perhaps. Whatever he's doing, it won't change what's going to happen once I finally catch up with him. Oh, big words, Raiden. But can you live up to them? That will be the question. Same code. Always the same code. <laughs> it's like a Mega Man-esque boss corridor, you know? <laughs> you just know something big is going to happen. And lo and behold, it does! What? Straw! Miss Charles? No. A severe body, if I had to get... A significantly weaker Miss Straw, that is. Thank God. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I missed it again. What the hell am I doing, honestly? Raiden, this is really not the time. Come on. Let's just pull it together. Why is he aiming at that? Come on. So, yeah, this is a... Uh, one of the most, um, again, difficult boss battles to... Uh, well, it's, I don't, don't think it really counts as a boss battle, to be honest. It's one of the most difficult battles to get no damage on. Uh, purely because, as you may have already guessed, if you haven't seen it, and as you will know if you have seen it, um, you have to fight Monsoon again straight afterwards, uh, which is really where <laughs> things go wrong there. But fortunately, the, the conditions for this battle aren't, aren't that strict, so as long as you... you, you well, basically, you can afford to get hit a couple of times to get the S-Rank. You know, you don't need to get the no damage bonus in order to, to save yourself like I normally do. <laughs> I also appreciate the, the revisit to the uh, the boss battle themes, you know? Kind of the instrumental versions. Because they're freaking cool. Does anybody really get bored of them? I sure as hell don't. <laughs> nice. That's why it's handy to always keep the uh, the EM grenades as well. Don't don't go using them haphazardly. Fortunately, they are significantly weaker <laughs> as well. I haven't already mentioned that. Oh 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 oh! Not tonight. Not tonight. And obviously, uh, as you might have guessed, he doesn't have his scripted events in this either. <laughs> God, can you imagine an army of these things? Because this became a regular enemy. 
This will be the hardest game in the world. <laughs> Damn your combos, man. They do no damage, but there's so many hits involved. It usually gets me with that last one. Oh god. You can actually get a few cheeky hits away if uh, you're quicker. Where you at? Where you at? Oh god. Oh god. Would you tell? Why has he not got a target thing on him? That's a little annoying. Would you block his moves, please? Why can I not target this guy? What the heck? There it Oh, now it's back. Now it decides it wants to. That's good. That's nice of you. Thank you. This battle is not going as it normally does. <laughs> Come on, stun him, stun him, stun him. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. Not tonight, not tonight. You know, if you can get a just defend on this guy, it really takes off like so much. Of his, like, well, as you would expect, but it takes off so much damn health. Oh god! Come on! There you go. And that should be the end for you, monster. Oh yeah. That will not be an S rank. I guarantee. You. Oh! What do you know? Beautiful. What can I say? I surprised myself. <laughs> Don't disrupt the students while class is in session. That voice. I believe you're familiar with the lesson plan. The same regimen you went through in Liberia. Effective program. Just look how you turned out. Why, thank you. Of Wait course, a second. Running it in the real world just got a bit too complicated. Doing it virtually, though? No fuss, no muss. Straight to the brain. It's like a dream. Well, maybe dream is the wrong word. They could kill some POWs, some civilians. <laughs> They enjoy it, though. We give their pleasure centers a nice big jump every time. <laughs> oh, great. So the running around killing civilians with a huge big cyborg bone is great. Present. It's not like a dream I've ever had. Wait. Another thing you have in common. I chose this. I chose to be a monster. Sort of. are cruel. All people are by nature. They just lose touch with it as they get older. Start thinking they know right and wrong. That's immoral. War crime this, code of conduct that. Kids, you can mold. Manipulate it to perform in all kinds of atrocities. And there's nothing like a good atrocity to keep a war going. That's why I'm shutting you down. Huh. You just don't see the bigger picture, do you? Say you bring this whole place down. Waltz out of the rubble with all these precious brains. That's the plan. Nothing changes. All the guys in charge are long gone. We've got offices around the world. I'm gonna need a bigger rucksack for all these brains. We're just suppliers. We don't create the market for war. And who does? The Patriots are gone. <laughs> Those guys just managed the war economy. They didn't invent it. Did you think every battle in history was all part of some big old conspiracy? Bullshit! 
War is just part of who we are. Why fight it? Anyway, none of this will matter in three hours. Demand for PMCs is about to skyrocket. Like the good old days after 9-11. I have a real problem with that line. What are you talking about? Which I'll explain after. <laughs> Not here. Follow me. Like the good old days after 9-11. get sundowner. Do not lose it this time. So what's wrong with the good old days after 9-11? Well, I am a big fan of things that um, incorporate fiction into into fact, you know? That's why I love Metal Gear Solid 3, and I think that's why a lot of people love Metal Gear Solid 3, because it works in stuff, it, and, and it works with MGS3, because you can use things were, that were going on in the time in order to build a story around that, you know? But... Because that was the beginning of it, it worked, and it kind of suggests that there was a separate timeline. You've got real life, which is where we live, and then you've got the MGS universe, which is where, you know, people are building Metal Gears left, right, and center. But the fact that you throw in the line, good old days after 9-11, suggests that there isn't an alternate timeline going on here, that everything happened just as we know it, IRL. And I kind of don't really like that. I like to think that MGS is, you know, it's, it's a separate thing. Kind of suggests that even though all of that stuff happened, you know, Peace Walker and whatever, that 9-11 somehow still, <laughs> you know, somehow still occurred. And with that, everything else, you assume that because 9-11 happened, we're literally living in the real, what, you know, our universe, you know? Yeah. As if that guy hit me. Yeah, man. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't really like that line myself. Oh, my God. What the hell? He just stunned himself. One thing I haven't mentioned about these enemies is that uh, when you they normally they appear in twos, but um, when you kill one of them, the other will go into like a berserk mode where he glows red, a bit like Raiden's. Uh, what is it? Ripper mode, I guess. So you want to watch out for that. That's an optional battle, by the way. <laughs> I'm sure you already guessed that. I got bars to like, quick, get sundown, or I just immediately run in the other direction. <laughs> Where are you going, Raiden? Stop it. Stop disobeying orders. Alrighty, what do we got? Box number one. What are the hollow chips? What exactly are they? I mean, I know I get BP, but what is there anything on them? Are they like magazines or something? <laughs> hollow chip, issue 72. Alrighty, and I believe there's a chest over here as well. Indeedy. Good stuff, what do you got for me? Aw, oh, data storage, come on. That's no fun. <laughs> Alright, Sundana, so now I'm ready. Now I've got all my items. Ooh, a battle in the rain. I like it. Look at him just waiting for me. Cocky son of a sundowner. Son of a sundowner. How's this, Jack? We can play up here without damaging the merchandise. What happens in three hours? <laughs> Don't matter. You're too late. Even at Mach 2, you wouldn't make it. And killing you is gonna take some time. Slow and painful. Another nice design. I got no problem with this. This is exactly how you would expect somebody in charge of security to look in this in this age, you know. <laughs> oh. oh. You can be cooler than that. Now there's two ways you can uh, you can handle this battle. Um, I like to, as you can see, he's got this this 
weird sort of shield thing going on. Um, I actually like to, to keep the shield on him, to be honest. Or at least part of it. Um, simply because he's a lot more predictable that way. Like, it, you, you know, you can telegraph his moves a lot easier. So. I generally like to keep it on him. As long as you sort of get around the back of him and everything. And there's not a lot you can really do, to be honest. Like, he'll attack um, like that occasionally, but uh, it's easily parryable, if that's a word. <laughs> Cheeky bit of ripper mode. Like, he becomes a lot more dangerous if, uh, if you take the shield off of him. And a dangerous sundowner is not a friendly sundowner. <laughs> and I also like to get rid of these... Stop aiming at him. I also like to get rid of these choppers as well. It just... Ow! Whoa, okay. <laughs> it just kind of takes a bit of added pressure off you, you know? Oops. Combo went on a bit long there. Can you even see my eyes? I have a mask on. Oops. I don't want to lay a finger on you. I want to lay my sword on you, which is what I'm doing really, really well. I'm doing like no damage. I might even take this thing off. Oops. Why am I not doing that? Come on. There we go. Let's try again. How is that not working? Frick. <laughs> oh. Can I please get this now? There we go. Finally. Seems to be taking less and less damage now, so we'll probably get these things off. When you have all your upgraded stuff, it doesn't really matter. But I guess first time playthrough, you gotta make exceptions. See, this form is not as friendly as you can see. <laughs> Not that it would cause any sort of problems, but... Is it over? Go! I'll take you. See, again, this is a perfectly good strategy for getting up World Marshal, but apparently that's just that's not that's not stealthy. A neat little trick here is to um, if you constantly fly towards the bottom right and just keep firing, you never get hit. Really. Well, no, you never get hit. <laughs> I don't know how that works, but it works. And who am I to complain? Oh, 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 oh. Try your best. Woohoo! Oh, let's just get one in the head. There you go. <laughs> Look at his head fly off. Oh, too many parts for the game to handle. It's over. It's over. What happened?
happens in three hours. Kill. Look at his head. Who? <laughs> I'm strong. Oh, Sundowner, you old gossip. Got yourself shaving? No. I've taken Marshal HQ. Yeah, yeah. I have just entered Denver airspace. Don't I'm just say yeah, yeah, as if Hurry. it was nothing. Driver, what Sundowner said. I know. Anything that'll rival 9-11 cannot be good. And in three hours, maybe less. He said even Mac 2 could not get there in time. If he was serious, that's over 4,000 miles away. 4,500. So whatever it is, it's not happening on a Twenty-five hundred exactly. <laughs> if it's gonna spike demand for PMCs, it's gotta be a political hotspot. A coup or civil war in a stable region wouldn't have a domino effect. And they'd want to draw in a superpower. No. What? The president. He's on his way to Pakistan. If something happens to him there. Oh shit. The war on terror part two. Contact the military. Official channels are frozen since Mexico. Unofficial channels will take too long. Besides, what's our proof? Who's gonna believe us over World Marshal? Then we have to get there first. Nevers Muzna, impossible! It is the other side of the planet. Even if we were in the world's fastest jet right now, it's not even close. Hold up. It's not a jet we need. Courtney? An we RLB need a time machine. Time to spare. I mean an RLV, that's what, that's what I meant. That's... Mach 23, if we're talking one atmosphere. 17,650 miles per hour. That would make Pakistan in under half an hour. Right. Contact Solis. Will do. Bada boom. End of chapter 4. A rank. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. I like that. It looks pretty. Well, i got to pause it for now, guys. But thank you very much for watching this episode of Metal Gear Rising, and I do hope to see you in the next one, guys. Custom Cyborg, buddy. See you in a bit, guys. See you later. <laughs>